On Wednesday, the nation will take a moment to remember and celebrate the life of former President George H.W. Bush. Hey everybody, I'm Chad H.D., host of the Chad H.D. Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO. There have been so many pieces done in recent days, uh, and there will be more to come in the next few days about the life of the former president, George H.W. Bush, a man whose uh, presidency was, well, quite honestly, uh, underappreciated uh, in uh, the the era that he was president of the United States. And he probably actually would have won a second term if it not uh, had been for, uh, you know, tax increases and also Ross Perot and the love affair from the media for Bill Clinton. The media nowadays, they act as though George H.W. Bush was their favorite president or one of their favorite presidents. But remember, the media back then still did not like George H.W. Bush. They didn't like Bush. Uh, They didn't like George W. Bush when he was president. And they really hate Donald Trump right now. Now, I'm not going to get in, you know, I'm not going to be very political here. We all know the game that's being played by the media using the death of a former president to uh, attempt to make Donald Trump look like a mean, angry guy. When what Donald Trump is actually doing is something that George H.W. Bush should have done and that George W. Bush should have done. And that is punch back against the false narrative being sold to the country. Uh, The media enjoys selling a false narrative about Republicans uh, to whoever will listen and whoever will read. And Donald Trump is punching back. And Donald Trump will continue uh, to punch back. Listen, there's a lot to celebrate when it comes to the life of George H.W. Bush. He loved his family. He loved his country. Uh, he he loved the, the nation that we were and the nation that we have become. Uh, George H.W. Bush was someone who uh, always had optimism. And you don't always see that from other folks. George H.W. Bush had optimism not only in the American people, but in the country as well. And that's something that I will always appreciate from him. His love of country, his love of family, and the optimism that he had for this nation and for the entire world led by the United States. God bless the life of George H.W. Bush. Today on the show, we're going to talk a little politics. We'll also have Larry Williams on from Williams Break, Tune, and Tire. And then at 10 a.m., we end the show so you can listen to the celebration and funeral of President George H.W. Bush on KFYO. We'll do the same thing on Thursday, by the way, ending the show at 10 a.m. so you can listen to the service that's going to be held down in Houston, Texas. I invite you to tune in to the Chad HD Show both days and every single day on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. And on Wednesday, celebrate America, celebrate our past presidents, and celebrate the optimism that these past presidents, including George H.W. Bush, had for the United States of America.